Hello YouTube, we're making angle bracket here. This is 3 sixteenths of an inch thick steel. We're going to be using the old Ward's welder. We want to make an angle bracket. It doesn't have to be perfect. See how we got it on the magnet? We're going to tack this because this is going to be a full bead in here. So it's less welding on the inside. So we'll weld this. We'll tack it first before we get carried away. Make sure it stays straight before we start welding everything up. So we'll show you when we're about done. We'll take a few pictures when we put like one bead and then probably be three beads in here. All we have is three thirty seconds rods. So we don't have no eight inch rod sixty eleven. So we're gonna use what we have here. So stay tuned. Okay, this is just a real quick bead. It looks sloppy, but it's still square. Here's my little square. It's still square. Next, we're going to put a bead on the inside and check it again. Hope you can hear me over the roar of that welder fan. But that it's still square inside and out. It does not have to be perfect for what it's going to be used for. Okay, here's the inside weld. We did turn the welder up to 100 amps. We had it on 90. But with these little rods, you do not have time to make a bead. After I knew, you can see where I backed up to fill it in so I didn't have a gap. They just melt so fast. So you don't get a big white bead. That's why I want to make several passes on the back. We'll take a see if it's square. Then we're going to go ahead and weld two on the outside. We may weld some more on the inside. It just depends on how strong we think it is. I don't know if we're going to give this the hammer test. It's not going to be used for anything on a truck going down the highway or nothing, so stay tuned. Okay, this thing's hot. I tried making as wide a bead as I could. This is the third pass. These are just cheap Harbor Freight rods. That's all they are. I bought them for my little 110 inverter welder, but we'll bring you back when we take the flapper disc up and clean it up. It is still square. I took a picture of me holding the square there. It's still square enough. I believe that welder welds hotter than what it says because I went down to 80 amps and this is 316th. You can see how hot this piece is getting. So I just go by what I'm used to on the welder. Now if I had bigger rods I'd probably turn the amperage up. but. There you go, that's the best it's going to be for what I'm going to use it for. I'm not a professional, so just name it your welder. Okay, there's a couple little pockets in there. Inside's kind of ugly, but it's still square enough. That's my grinder disc and flapper disc. I suppose if the person wanted to be picky, they could do some touch up welds and regraining, but. Just going to be a simple bracket. There you go. Just using the old welder there on something thick. Maybe someday I'll find some half inch metal and I'll buy some bigger rods. Thanks for watching.